some high school students in New York will be learning remote while their school is occupied by thousands of migrants in need of a temporary shelter as a storm rolls through. Here's what you should know. Around 2,000 migrants are in need of shelter as high winds and dangerous flood conditions threaten the city. Those migrants were staying at a shelter site at Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn, made up of about seven large climate-controlled tents. The city says the shelter wasn't a safe place to be as high winds could damage or topple them. So migrants were loaded up on dozens of buses and sent to James Madison High School, where they will be temporarily camped out in the gymnasiums, the cafeteria and auditorium to ride out the storm. The temporary solution by the city has received some criticism. Every time there's a flood, are they going to find a new school to move the migrants to? Our schools are not migrant or homeless shelters. They're places of learning for our children paid for by our taxpayer dollars. This is not good for anyone, not the migrants or their children and not students and their families. One New York assemblyman is leading an emergency rally outside the school this morning alongside concerned parents and community members that this temporary solution is a quote, slippery slope. Assemblyman Mike Riley says city officials are now setting a dangerous precedent for the future of this crisis, opening public institutions that are supposed to be among the safest places for our youth to an illegal and largely unknown migrant population. Many of the migrants in New York City have been processed by the government and released while they wait for their asylum hearings. More than 157,000 asylum seekers are in New York City, with more arriving every day.